you had to summarize everything over the past 10 years, all your work, all your writing, all of your research, all of your travels, if you could summarize it and bring it back to one punchline, what would it be? And it would be this. If you look at people who are able to build momentum in their lives, in their careers, in their communities, versus people who fizzle out, people who lose momentum in their lives and in their careers, the people who fizzle out, very rarely do they run out of time, very rarely do they run out of talent. What they almost always run out of is energy. Let me say that again. People who fizzle out, very rarely do they run out of time or talent. What they almost always run out of is energy. And the reason that matters is because you know, what you do is so important. It's so meaningful. And yet, at the same time, it can be exhausting. Can it? Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and the thing about that is that if we're exhausted, if we run out of steam, we might have the best goals, we might have the best training, we might have the best skills, but we're still not going to achieve the best outcomes for our patients. We're not going to see, achieve the best outcomes for our lives. And so what I was hoping we might do today is unpack three habits, three specific habits that great leaders around the world do in order to create momentum in their lives and their careers and in order to restore the energy that they have for themselves and for the people around them. How does that sound? Three habits. Yeah?